For younger students, developing the skills of computational thinking and algorithm development requires familiarization with the language and concepts associated with instructions. For example, movement, sequence, place, and spatial awareness. Activities to promote this can be built out of other common activities that they complete in the classroom or in their life outside of the classroom. Initially, the Digital Technologies curriculum focuses on following and describing the sequences of instructions and decisions needed to solve simple problems. To start exploring instructions, students could be asked to explore games, such as Simon Says or instruction games, such as this one where paddle pop sticks are labelled with different instructions. Students have to pull out the stick and have to act out the instruction written on their stick. A nice variation of this game that we found is the zap game, where students keep pulling out sticks and acting out the instructions until they pull out one stick of a specific colour or with zap written on it. There are many variations of this game that can be extended to include sequences of instructions. When exploring sequences, students could also be asked to develop sequence charts, exploring key events of storybooks and recording them in the correct order in the chart. At the more advanced year levels, we will explore problems where students will need to identify how to solve the problem in terms of exploring both the data needed as well as the functional requirements of the solution. An example activity that could help us explore this capability could involve building the model of a house. What information do you need to build a house? How many windows does the house have? How many doors? Do you need stairs? Do you need a lift? We will come back to this when we talk more about programming and decomposition.